The drinking water situation in Sierra Leone is very poor. In nearly all parts of the country, the supply with clean drinking water is not guaranteed. Due to the lack of infrastructure, pipe borne water is only available in some rural areas. Most people fetch their drinking water at groundwater wells, streams, and other open water sources. The majority of the inhabitants really have no access to pure, clean drinking water. One of the problems is the annual dry season, which is approximately between November and April. A lot of water wells and streams dry out, causing water shortage. The other problem is that water wells are often misused or not maintained properly. A huge amount is damaged and the high quality of groundwater wells has influence on the groundwater level. Most streams and rivers where, where people fetch drinking water are also used for other purposes. All these problems have led to the water contamination resulting in waterborne diseases that affect the health situation of people in the country. Yes, young man, what do you make this pump ready now? Yes, sir. This pump will be used up. But as we use them, um, um, one day it just pops up a week. And we know the technician still perform. We really don't say they don't get problems. Now you know the salvation of the community. You see? Because we go one mile, one mile, two miles before we will get water. And the problem is, and this, this time for the government, if we don't have we now, you see, and the pump says this is for don't do for service community, but now not really function. First, we work out now, take one of the next village before we get water. And the water that we will get now, it's still will get her. You get the water, pass it, sister. I want some of food that says, when I go on any side, when I go out there, the houses here, then we show that the water will get her. Now, I can go on. Right now, now I can't do something, but it's been dry. It's been good to dry. So we can put it right inside. So when will the water be bigger? Where do you use it? We ask a car, we stand there, now we clean up, now we volunteer, we dig them, we do everything. We dig them, we do everything. We do everything. We do everything. You see? Just imagine. If it comes now, the people just are in Jimmy. In improving the water situation in most rural communities with lack of pure drinking water, the Safer Future Youth Development Project conducted a random survey of 15 communities, of which 10 communities that are badly affected were selected as pilot phase communities. Some of these things the survey focused on where the water, hygiene and sanitation situation in the communities and possible solution to those problems. Mm. What do you like to use for mm. making the water and clean? We don't get no water treatment now. We should get enough for drink and no more. So we need to do none? Mm. For even boil ourselves, we need to do them. Ah, you know, mm. get poison now with it. <laughs> <laughs> for the kitchen them, you the boil them? Oh no, the same, same water. <laughs> so they do not, not mm. they get uh, where they can, can make water in the boiler, and they put chlorine. And yeah, they but chlorine or they yeah. So we are not getting no water when well, water side. No, the water side can dry this out. Water side, this side, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How they can make the water clean in this village? Because what people go to the hospital and they say, I don't forget clean water for boiler, and sifter. <laughs> So no, no method. No, no method. No. Okay, this uh, water well, they say that they go get. If far from this place, nearly two miles. Health center, they there. Nah, nah, this village. Yeah, this one I can go hospital. Sikuya, Sikuya, Sikuya. Village away, this is health center. Over. In the catchment area. Yes, this one they get water problem. Nemoku. Do center. Mm -hmm. Matoli, mm -hmm. even my baby said, then a girl will go away no better. So, how the cholera business or diarrhea? The diarrhea? Yes, I didn't last month, it. yes, last month he complained the, the prevalence been plenty. But he said, we didn't pull, I think I've heard that diarrhea can't be sick, and I tell you so. Mm -hmm. The pump began pulling at the tongue. 
So you can't tell me, you know, because I'm not going to go get water. Because I'm not going to go get water. I'm not going to go get water. We did that this morning for one small workshop. We sometimes we work with tongue them and the village of South Vermont. But we're not fine for let people like, who are just coming talk so no more. If we find out, this one I cannot want to agree for talk because they're not serving themselves. Mm -hmm. So for begin the talk close up. So sometimes you begin from here, you turn up, you show your name and the village you come out. From each of the ten selected communities, two members each were selected to be trained as SODIS promoters. The workshop also included the simple techniques to improve the hygiene and sanitation situation, like blocking the transmission route by building local community toilets and basic hygiene principles. But the workshop mainly focused on SODIS, solar water disinfection. <laughs> 